Let's face it, getting down on the floor to paint baseboards and mouldings doesn't sound like much fun, does it? But there are some steps that you can take that'll make this job easier. Wipe the baseboard with a damp cloth to remove dust and dirt. Now if you have a good steady hand, you may choose to cut in the baseboard and trim. If you are not experienced, then put painter's tape on the wall just above the baseboard to help avoid getting paint on the wall. Now painter's tape comes in a variety of sizes and you may want to use a wider tape if you're concerned about paint on the wall. Also, place painter's tape around the doorway and top edge of the door. Now if you've already prepared the floor for painting with a drop cloth and tape, then both your wall and floor should be protected while you paint the baseboards. The size of the brush needed will be determined by the size and type of trim. Usually a two or two and a half inch angle sash brush will do a great job. If choosing a latex paint, select a good quality nylon or poly nylon brush. If you're using alkyd paint, use a natural bristle brush like this one. The best place to start painting is in the corner and then work your way around the room. Carefully paint in a nice straight line. Make sure your paint strokes follow the length of the baseboard rather than going up and down. Now once you've completed the painting and the paint is set to touch, you should remove the painter's tape. We recommend using a sheen that is higher in gloss than what's on the walls as this will showcase your moulding, separating your walls from the trim. However, this is a personal choice. 